Against a sun-splashed St. Louis riverfront, the Admiral set sail this morning. The normally silver arch was golden in the early morning sun. Yeah, it's an exciting day for us. We've been looking at this for a long time. For riverboat history buffs like Tom Dunn, who operates Gateway Cruises, it was worth the wind chill to see history making waves. Uh, the actual move itself should only take uh, maybe uh, 45 minutes to an hour, but we do have to take the Admiral underneath two bridges, the Eads Bridge and the Martin Luther King Bridge. Slowly, slowly, the three towboats nudging the Admiral moved it upstream under the historic Eads Bridge. Can you bring the head in, any mic? Send in now. This was the first time in 60 years that the boat had been north of the Eads, so employees of the Admiral wanted to capture the moment for posterity. I'd say we got 12 foot to the At its new location, the Admiral will have a covered entryway, plenty of parking right across the street, and perhaps most importantly, three protective cells that the boat is anchored inside of. What ultimately took less than an hour to accomplish had been two and a half years in the making. And that 1,200-foot move up river carried with it decades of memories. Gosh, I think I was in grade school. I, I maybe, think high school. Maybe junior high, because I, I don't think I was in high school the first time. Mary McClinton and Naomi Geller missed the boat. They wanted to watch it move, but it was already docked when they got there, so they reminisced instead. When I was a little kid, I would come here with my uh, mother and my brother for picnics or whatever with some friends friends and family that and then when we dated too we came yeah, dancing nice. and that so yeah it, there's a lot of memories but there aren't any more Saturday night dances or sunning on the deck and this kind of child's play has been replaced with high stakes games of a different sort the owners of the Admiral are betting their new location at Laclede's Landing will pay off for decades to come at the riverfront Gene Shepard ABC 30 News